Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn's Revenge 3.3 preview playthrough as the Galactic Empire. In the last episode, we started making some uh, some progress against the CSA as well as the Greater Maldrude, while we tried to build up some of our, our back borders. But we are currently... Oh, actually, I don't want that. We, we did lose Kala, but we are currently setting up for an invasion down here from Bestin into Typhara, as well as getting some of our conscripts from Zinja's Empire into Mario, and we are going from here into Yavin, now that they won't be able to get past us. But first, we're taking Findar. So we're going to get a lot of progress today. Hopefully, it, Hero? No, no Hero. But if we take Findar, we take Yavin, we take... Uh, Yagdal and Typhara. That's four more legitimacy for us. What's the total amount for everyone? We're at 55%. But we'll go up to like 83, 80, like 86 total legitimacy for that. They'll go down to like 30 each. So not quite the 75 yet, but we're, we're going to be getting there. And then we'll be going into the war against the New Republic and possibly the Hapens with some SSDs. We're also building the Executor, which uh, once we're a bit more secured in our borders, we'll be able to take a pause and bring them in. What do we have? Snuva, the Wookiee. All right. This army without the stuff that we left on Sifkri, not the best. But Joris Sabayoth is uh, an army on his own. Thank you for subscribing for three months. Very appreciated. I believe it's to Cidre. But I'm not 100% sure on that, so I apologize for... ...being bad at your name. Affirmative, sir. Night, Alexi. Scanning the area. We do have Joris with the uh, corrupt ability, so he can just recruit more people for us. We really struggle with stuff. Yeah, they're they're going for that. We're we're not going to be able to win this. Let's go. And. I might regret this. Okay, get all in there. This could be a horrible idea. Oh god, oh god, I don't want to do that. I absolutely do not want to do that. Back out of there. We want turbo laser. The bikes are actually getting that okay. Alright, and we pulled them away from there. So try to get over that. They've got the turbo laser. Shoot everything but the structure. I'm just going to go and corrupt the the tank. We killed everything else that's around it, so we're going to lose the turbo laser in a second. But you are now going to go over there. Alright, good job, bikes. No, Joris, you're going to finish that off. Take the credit for it. Take the credit. You're fine. Hey. All the AA that's right there is probably going to take that out before we get in. 
Right, let's just uh go with that. Okay, hey, hey. Did they make it? Nice. We got it. Now I'm less afraid for Joris if he goes in. The bombers all died, but they got the job done, so who cares? Okay, what's up here? This is gonna be a massacre if these guys try to try to kill that. Oh, we do have the passive. Passive healing as well as the point defense, so. I think we might be able to do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, uh, Joris. I did not mean to press battle meditation first, but I think he should be yes, sir. should be fine. There we go. It was only mostly a bloodbath. The heroes survived. All that other stuff survived. Yes, Commander. And we can take the victory point now. Oh, actually, hold on. We need the Wookiee man over there. All right, you can finish your battle meditation, and I'll tell you. I don't think I can actually cancel that. Right away. Give me the, give me the money. I want the money. We got the money. Now we just want the victory point. Bam. Whole planet. Whole thing. Oh, they're coming around. They think they're being sneaky. Guess what? Keep coming. Keep coming. Not sure which way they went. Probably up to the landing zone. There you go. Got him. Got him. So we should actually be able to hold all the borders this way as well. CSA... wait, what? CSA took Liana. How? How'd they get there? What? Okay, um... I'll accept that, I guess. All right, so we'll do this, and then I, I really don't know how they got there, unless they were, like, sitting over it forever, or the retreat sent stuff that would have been able to do it, but there weren't ground units in that retreat. They're in this direction. So I don't know. I'm I'm going to accept it, but I, I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. All right, Doom Dorito. Take him from the front there. We have Apocalypse. We have Moon Mist. We have Veer's Gambit, oh crap. We have VSD2, we have VSD1, we have Scourge of Icarus. Old but reliable. Walrus on a diet. IPV, and. Just the one. All right. Um. Yes. Come on. I'm pretty sure Liana was New Republic. No, it would have been Independent Forces first, and then I just I don't know if the New Republic ever took it. Oh well. Well, at least they can't retreat. 
We've taken out most of their damage. Okay, we do need to kill the interdictor. And more here. Then the Praetor is getting through the shields quickly, like I was saying in that other battle, before they rudely ran away. They shouldn't be allowed to do that. I should just always have an interdictor with me at all times. Especially on Cruel, we need to make sure we just take every favorable fight we can. We need to drop one in every fleet as soon as we have the resources to. Alright. I'm gonna get the Praetor to stay on the one with the most shields. Because, like, the ion damage is gonna do nothing against all, and that's a lot of its damage. Let's get full DPS as long as possible. No fighters ever. Mm. The cylinder like ships? Do you mean these guys, the Altors? Or a different one? No, what do you do? Okay, don't, don't, don't go up there. Well, we need to deal with the bombers and fighters anyway. So, here, stop, stop turning that way. Stop turning that way. That all four is nearly done. I'm gonna move over to these other little guys. I think we need to. Ch no crap. We lost our strike cruiser. I we could have been able to make through make it through this battle without losing anything, but oh well. Get on over here. Uh, oh, hold on. I don't know why I did that. Like, we really need to find any Maltrude heroes out there. At a certain point, we'll be able to... ...buy more probe droids. But right now, knowledge isn't going to affect what we're doing very much. Knowledge never affects what I'm going to do very much. Taking out two Altors like this is a really good move for us. Or New Republic probably wanted. Yeah, and didn't get it. Yeah, the Altor is the, the biggest ship available, or the biggest capital available to the Greater Mountain. They do still have... An SSD. Yeah. It's a it's a giant fleet tender, so it's meant to support their frigate focus. Of course, the AI's fleet building capabilities are a bit less nuanced than players, so it doesn't always end up in the best compositions, i.e., surrounded by strike cruisers. All right, Yavin is a success. But once again, no heroes for me. I wonder how many heroes they actually have. There we go. We did lose Moon Mist again. I think that might have been Moon Mist's third death. All right, uh, Sabayoth up there. As much as I don't want to leave these guys, it's going to be hard to take Yavin with what we've got there. All right, well, let's, uh, let's save quickly. And we'll probably do Mario first before moving into, um, Yavin. Because we 
We might even be able to move that fleet up to the other Haven planet, aka Mandalore. We know the Havens have Mandalore. I think they've actually stacked Mandalore pretty high, though. At least in structures. But we'll... Probably... Like, I, I want to get to a place where we have decently secured borders and we can just build up uh, the Executor and a few other ships. Like, take the actual build time for the Executor rather than having to keep pushing through. Once we have Typhara and Yagdal, that'll help with that as well, though. Okay. Did we actually finish these guys? No, they're even still building. So Bringy, 25%. Mandalore is built up on ground, not in space. Alright. Um, Constructing. He's there for that. These guys, you're still coming down there. All right. Let's go and take Typhara, though. Just... So, well, first of those space ones. For actual first first, we're taking Mario. I mean... Like Chad is showing right now, I, I do like that the faction playstyles have come through and given more variety and a lot of options for that kind of stuff. That was the goal with it, and it seems like everyone's been able to find like a favorite faction playstyle. They're all kind of coming through well, which is nice. I copy. Reporting. It was the big goal with the release, and it seems like it's working. Is that a garrison? No, that's out, surgery. Let's move out. Order, sir. Reporting. Oh, I guess, oh yeah, I guess uh, Mario was taken Ready. by the Greater Maldrude at one yes, point. Sir. Not the not the one with the pipes. I guess Maldrude is also the one with the pipes, but Roger. the Mario is planet. Not super Mario. Roger that. That might have been hard to follow. Support order acknowledged. Form up. Let's go. Okay. Take cover. Run in. Alright, we just gotta get into the structure there. I don't want to lose the raptors. They should be... They should be okay. The raptors. I mean, they're not raptors in the sense that the Sea Ruby are, but they, they could be someday. Alright. It actually looks like they didn't even have many units here on top of not having many structures. Alright, just put some mines at the front door for if anything else comes out. It's nice to get some some quick victories for ourselves here. And I think we might even send these ground forces over to Yavin as well. But like the next couple planets we're taking are going to hurt the legitimacy of the other of the other imperial factions. This didn't. It only helped ours. Building started. Building under construction. But it's still worth. All right. You guys get over to Yavin. You guys get over to Yavin. I'm not gonna leave Steve Cree with the. Oh shit.
I'm starting to understand why the New Republic had some problems, Doughty. I don't think we win this one. We've located the enemy. Uh, you take Yagdol and they're stuck here, though. I don't want to duel. Hmm. I don't want to do dueling SSDs on this. Like, I mean, Praetor is not an SSD. But the fact that I don't really have any fighters, even if my faction or my code had been working properly. All right. Um. You enjoy Typhera. You suck. Okay. Well. That's not going to work while that's active. It might not even work while it's not active, but let's see if they turn it off and let me go. Patron units don't always work well with that. All right. Well, silence. Fallout. Let's go. I hate to do this to you in what I assume is your first battle. This way. But location confirmed. Sometimes uh we just don't want to fight an asserter. If I did this without a Pathfinder, that's when we know we're screwed. Da, da, da. All right, everyone, a moment of silence. Get it? F's in chat for a moment of silence. It's, it's doing its best. Hopefully Yagdol isn't, uh, isn't this bad. I mean, if we have, uh, a Typhera that is blockaded by a, an SSD, that's, that's not unexpected, really. All right. Fleet about to invade Balmora and Desucha. Well, those are ground units, so we don't want that there. Um, can't really do anything about that. Heading out. What are we looking at for heroes here? Impending doom. Enemy fleet approaching. Tell me about it. All right, let's go around that way. Oh god, Commodore as well. I think I need to move this fleet down. I'm not going to be able to stop them. Alright. Okay. I am going to... Ooh. Rivester. We can take Yavin and then Rivester. Then Thrawn can go to Mandalore. And that frees up this fleet. That's okay, that sounds pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. Invasion commencing. So we don't want to expand too much. We want to take Yavin, Mandalore, Rivester. And Yagdal. And then it's the build-up time. Order, and sir. dealing with that whole situation Report. that Maldrude has been doing Await to us order. in the core. Ready. Squad, move out. That, that's where we're going yes, from sir. here. Like, we Wait can't abandon sir. the stuff in the south because now we know there's a little bit of a problem building up there as well. 
Okay, one of you needs to stop moving long enough to spawn the other units. Squad, advance. Roger. Or we've lost them. Choose your uh, Joris. Right away. Get those bikes. Get some of the faster speeders. We've secured an abandoned heavy vehicle. All right. Now we can try to get down here. I'm not worried about infantry with what we've got here. It's so much brighter with that. It just like lit up my whole room. Awaiting orders. Okay, that is going to be a lot of infantry coming. I'll be less worried about it once I have my bikes over there. Okay, bikes, get over there. Like, our infantry are going to be better than theirs here. Uh, let's, uh... Here, set the mines. Everyone in there. And these bikes have like proton bombs, so they're actually a decent anti vehicle as well. I believe. I could actually look at the description for that to make sure, but I'm just gonna go with it. And you're all just gonna believe me. And if I'm wrong, then the only one who's gonna, gonna know and be angry about it is no one. Guess whose side you're on now? Mine. Okay, now the rest of our units can take a break. Doris, get in and get those. See, I was hoping to save it for this guy, for the A5. But I thought it'd be farther away. This is the only problem with uh, anti-vehicle bombs, it's hard to get up next to it. Okay, everyone else, shoot the vehicle, and Joris, shoot lightning at the infantry. Insta-zap them. Now smack that with your lightsaber. Did you have a lightsaber in the Thrawn trilogy? No. Who cares? No, I'm like you did. Alright, I think we lost the one company of the speeders there. But we got our other landing zone. We're gonna have Yavin. We're gonna need to build some more structures to replace some on, some army units, because like we're we're just been we just been going down to the dregs of what we have, to be honest. I don't know what it's been lately. It's probably the fact that in the last two streams we've had so many crashes. But I'll like click in the wrong place. Just not even the wrong place, just a place I didn't mean to. And I'll just really tense up. It's been it's been a stressful couple streams. Everyone should feel sorry for me. Okay, we're about to have another force corrupt incident. And... Was that all three of them? Okay, it was almost all three of them. Okay, Joris, get some infantry for us. Infantry for us, Joris. And... Now let's bomb that. Yeah, those are all gonna die in a second. Now we can destroy that, and we'll have a nice bombing or orbital bombardment ready for when we get down to the rest of the building. I don't think we're actually gonna hit the barracks, are we? That could hit the barracks. It did. I'm so happy right now. 
Oh, shit. You don't want to fly over... Don't want to fly over a turret like that. I don't think there are AA turrets in there. We might have lost our only rap or our only raptors on there. It's not been a great day for me speaking. Can't lie to you. Alright. Over to the last structure, please, Joris. Do you have any AA turrets there? They do. Things were starting to get too far over. We'll either have Joris there, or we'll have the Orbital Bombardment. In either way, it's going to be fine. Okay. Where is the last other unit, though? I think there's something here other than that. Nope, Joris, you were supposed to finish that, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to delay that for you. I think there was another unit over here. Maybe there wasn't. Maybe I just need to... Yeah, okay. Could have been much worse. Joris was uh, starting to take some heavy damage from that. When was the last save? How reasonable is it that I'm as afraid of the crash as I am right now? 917. Okay, yeah, that, that's actually... That was a reasonable fear. Hey, Rebel. I don't know, this is probably a biased audience, but how have you guys been feeling about the later recordings on Monday and Tuesday over the, the afternoon ones that we've been doing for a while? Because I, I figure, like, if Monday and Tuesday are like this, sometimes we won't have the Tuesday streams, and then Friday's in the afternoon. I've got all the bases covered a bit there. So, maybe that's a, a worse streaming strategy overall, but... Not having as consistent of a schedule. But, hopefully, if we can take Yagdol, that won't just piss off the Ariato Authority. Like, if they don't have to deal with the Asserter around there. Okay. That's got a Pathfinder still. Thrawn, you've got a Pathfinder still. Yeah. Oh, and the Hapens are actually... Not able to move from there. Indeed. Let's get these guys back over here. Coming around. Like they only have Starting one planet complete. in that area. I wanna go over to Rivester. Like this is giving them the all their extra influence units that they've been invading us with. Gotta be careful here. It's a lot of battle dragons. All right. Heading to Order. I knew Don't want Thrawn to get killed by them. They've got a lot of anti fighter as well. Moving to sector. Uh, the Bastion. Dove's garage. Fatigable. We star hammer. All right. Okay, we need to make sure we're focusing as much as they would. Otherwise, we're going to just start losing ISDs. Copy. This way. Reporting in. Right. We might lose an ISD anyways here. Alright, uh, stop. Powder weapons. 
Better weapons on that, please. This ISD is getting really hammered. I mean, we have Thrawn, so... We're definitely doing better than we would otherwise. Just so many of them. Harder weapons on that. That's another one down. It's definitely been a lot more battle dragons being used by the Havens. So that's all that's all as desired and planned and all well and good. Yeah, let's uh let's try to focus on this one. Most of the shields are down. I don't think they're actually gonna get that that kill off. Yeah, there's only the three of them left. Their stations have a considerable amount of garrison, so we can't just let them live. Alright, get on over there. I think we've been able to kill most of their fighters as well. Okay, so we're just going to leave Joe's garage back here. And move everyone else up to the station and shipyard. I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to retreat soon. I still don't think they will, but I wouldn't be surprised if they do. Then I have all my bases covered. And I was right either way. They will be destroyed. Alright. You bombers use your speed boost to get up there. And we're gonna need more more anti fighter up there. Okay, we've at least got the one Lancer there. Get up to that. You're just going to go straight through the shipyard. And we have more interceptors that can come up here. Thrawn, you're good. They're not killing anyone. That's two Lancers in the area. Sweet. Got their station. Got their shipyard soon. What house is this? This is Galni. So they have, what, like two or three planets in the main Hape space? Then they have the two planets next to Seif Kree. And then they had Mandalore. I think that's the extent of Hape and territory. Because they've been pushed in by us and Relophon, and then the Greater Maldrude has like the other half of the core Hape and territory. So there's a chance as we start getting some pressure on the Maldrude on the other side that the Hapens might take those planets back, which I wouldn't hate that, as long as they don't kill me, too. If they did start killing me, too, then I take everything back. Really... It looks like we're going to get to a point in the campaign where it's us versus the New Republic as the, the last two standing. Because Greater Maldrude is probably going to be the next faction to die. 
And CSA isn't looking so hot right now either. Now that we've taken Mario. And they're unlikely to be able to take it back, hopefully. Despite the number of battles of Telos that we've had, so I should definitely know better than to say that. But we'll see. Okay, so yeah, let's see what that actually ends up looking like. That's Mandalore over Sky. We don't even necessarily need anything those planets. Like, we don't need to have anything blocking them from coming from Mandalore as long as we wipe out their stuff coming from space every so often. Like, we do need Findar to have something built up. But, beyond that, like... Okay, they have a Praetor. What do you have for vehicles? Or are you an infantry? For admin. Okay, he's admin. Right. That is actually really helpful, too. Okay. Um, well, you're here. So you're going to get us... Is there anything that we hadn't built yet? I think we built Momentum Breaker. In uh, Hugo we might have. Yeah, the other ones we've had. Battlestar Galactica, Ferris Argolis, Trans Rights, and Breath of Annihilation we've definitely had. Uh, Gladius Ascendant we didn't have. Finish the Starhawk, I will. Unit in production. Get some Anti-Fighter. How's the, how's the executor going? 35%. All right, let's kill us a, let's kill us a Praetor. Thank you, Cluck Noob, for following. Follower number 5,701. Also, thank you, Bahamut, for following. Who was, I believe, follower 5,700. Very epic. Gone. Oh, and a Torpedo Sphere. Okay. Okay. Uh, Spirit of Arcadia? Then we'll get the Surreal Command bonus. Two Lancer lot. Let's get those point defense going. Impotently Petite Viciousness. And we want Medstar 1 in the front. We have Nefarious coming in back there. We have Nita's Fist. We have Diaper Heading Chief. Out. We have Rice the PT. We have Ace no, Out of the Hole again. We have Magic School Bus. And Bomb Pop. Let's move out. Those torpedo launchers oh, we can also fit in Choco to Taco. Alright. Point Defense is going to be used to try to save us from getting missiled to death. Okay, you're supposed to be shutting down the stations and shipyards. Okay, that is like perfect AOE material. Let's get these other ones on that. You're on here. I might be splitting things up too much. You know what? No, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Because we have enough support with the Praetor that it's not just going to be the Praetor. Like, especially with three strike cruisers that are about to go power weapons on there. Death Pickles? No, we haven't fought the New Republic in a little while. We were warned of an attack on Dasucha. It hasn't hit yet. But so far, it's all been Maldrud, CSA, and some Havens that we've been fighting recently. No MC-80 home one types. Might actually get some AoE damage on that. 
It's gonna be a torpedo sphere. That's the station. I don't actually like how much damage they're doing up there. Get in. It's a real. Over there. I think I need to go support this IST with these other ISTs. I was a little bit too ambitious going after the shipyard with that. Alright, you all need to get up there too. The Praetor should be able to handle their Praetor now. Nita's Fist is fine. We have enough distributed damage. Viper Chief is uh, on the way out. We gotta try to take the station there, the weapons that are facing our units. I don't think we'll lose anything else at this point. After the unfortunate tactical choices that screwed me over, trying to kill everything at once. I say screwed me over, it's entirely my fault. It, it was avoidable. I'm not sure if these were part of their starting ports or if they just got the legitimacy group. It shouldn't have... I don't think it's part of the starting forces for that. So I think they did get that legitimacy group. So that's nice for them. I'm kind of jelly. Alright, there we go. Raider down. What group is it? The, uh, the Storm Commandos, with the little Storm Commando carrier. Alright. The commando is asking, do you have any videos about modding types? Uh, modding tips? Uh, I did a, a while back I did a series on getting stuff set up for mods. There's a playlist on the YouTube channel called Modding 101 that has all those in it. I haven't done anything super in-depth, but there's some there. We lost Sir Lancelot, Magic School Bus, Impotently Petite Viciousness, and Diaper Chief. Very sad. Tactical battle imminent. Commodore's made it. Oof. Not impossible. The hypervelocity gun, I mean, as long as they don't stack up on us too fast. Hypervelocity cannon firing. Missed that. Yeah, we missed that. Entirely. Should have waited for them to move. Reporting in. Copy that. Advancing. Well, Go we ahead, could, sir. uh, we could take a, Heavy take this opportunity to do some boarding. Your command, sir. If they get up here quick enough. Awaiting your command. Yes, Commander. Weapons ready. The Altors are pretty slow. They're not gonna want to move up very much in the first place. Like if we could just collect ourselves three fresh new ISDs from Maldrude on this. I'm not gonna complain about that. Reporting in. Orders, sir. Roger that. Ready for okay, battle. Finier. Weapons ready. Up here. Sir. They're not going to be able to retreat. Here. Cruiser here. Radio channels open. All stations on standby. Gunboat here, sir. Ready for duty. Roger that. Cruiser okay. here. We'll make short work of them. Attacking. Roger that. Get as ready. much damage on that as we can. Holding fire for Weapons maximum on. effect. Yeah, they're not keeping the Altors with them, so... Hypervelocity gun available. 
destroyer standing by. Awaiting okay, you're gonna stay on this one. Star destroyer reporting in. Roger. Command received. Yes, come now, everyone else onto the other ISDs. Roger that. Position it. Target their fighter base. Setting course. This baby's gonna do a surprise and left in her. Oh! Didn't work. Awaiting your orders. Awaiting orders. Okay, he should be fine in there. Enemies incoming. Copy. Go ahead, sir. I copy. Awaiting your command. Your nope. We're just dropping crews in here. Not even Terry crews. They won't survive the day. Right, let's see if we can get this other one then. Might not be close enough. Oh no, we were close enough. All right. Signal coming through. I have the target in sight. Come on. Nope, we're just spending ship crews. That math doesn't. No, no, I think no. Hold on. Does that math work out? Wasn't it 109? Order, sir. Roger that. Target. Gunboat here. Target locked. Oh, we're taking critical damage. Alright, can we get this one? Doesn't look like it. Hey! We got one. Now let's try to get over to the to the exit. Attack formation. Wonder why it's not retreating. Pursuing enemy forces. This baby's got a few surprises left in her. Yes. Target locked. Waiting orders. Should not be sticking around. All right. Well, we got a we got a nice ISD. We just gotta kill some all cores who have decided for some reason to hang back. Not that I'll complain about it too much, but still. All right. Uh, Niles, you don't need to be around. This is a really bad stream for the new, or for the Greater Maldrude. Like most of that fleet that they decided to be jerks to us with are now destroyed. Or belong to us now. And we've got Thrawn freed up as soon as we have that other structure set for us. Because we do not need to hang around and blockade Mandalore. If someone takes Mandalore, then we'll take it from them. But until then, fine. We're just going to take the... We're going to take Rivaster from them. So Kosh can't hang out there forever. They won't survive the day. And that should make them really vulnerable to the New Republic, which if we take the pressure off the New Republic up here, means the New Republic can focus more on Ariadu down south, which we also helped a little bit with. So all in all, things are really shaping up for our unofficial alliance here with the New Republic. Who are then going to be a big problem for us at the end, which is what we want. That was that was so close to just being another dead ISD. Really glad we got that. He's headed your direction. Awaiting your command. Free money. Attack that target. Eliminating target. 
Regroup. Oh, come on. I can't switch position. Course set. Commander. Attacking target. Narrowing position. I copy. Reporting. Uh, we we do need to actually destroy the engines at some point. Heavy cruisers. Okay, just you guys are on on their engines. Lesser Maldrud and Greater Maldad. Returning to your position. Roger that. Let's finish him. Just gonna take a look at our, our fresh new star destroyer. Getting a lock. I mean, it's damaged enough that the New Republic wouldn't even build a Starhawk out of that, but. Taking him out. Intercepting. He won't be around much longer. I think you're looking for Terra Doc, more like Terra Bull, but it's fine. Go ahead, sir. They won't know what hit them. Transmit orders. Nowhere to run. We'll make short work of them. Okay. Fire at will. I gotta figure they're down to like twelve percent of the galactic military strength. Oh wait, no, don't who's letting you shoot at them? I mean I am, but They obviously can't retreat on account of my whole interdictor situation. That's a bit of a yikes. Everyone please shoot the bombers. No! Intergalactic House of Popsicles. Got an IST but lost a Popsicle House. It's more than time. That's how I... I couldn't, couldn't agree more. I think that's more ship. More in time. Okay, we lost the Intergalactic House of Popsicles. They lost two ISTs and two Altors, but we got another IST ourselves. A junction. Which I'm going to send into that fleet. Hello there. We have a hypervelocity gun here? No, we don't. All right. Well, that is going to open us up for our next little subplot where the Greater Maldrude has to be dealt with. Oh, I think Obra Sky. If we take Obra Sky, then we can go back into like Cola, Obra Sky, everything. Yeah, I think we're just going to send Thrawn straight down there. So that is going to be for next time, though. But that is going to do it for today's episode. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hope you are enjoying the series so far as we reestablish Imperial Dominance. Uh, next time, we are going to do that thing I said and continue to make our way towards Dark Empire. I mean, I, I thought it would be today. There was an Asserter. We didn't find any heroes. But we're, we're slowly but surely making our way through to eliminating the other Imperials. By the way, thank you for watching. Bye, everyone.